the scriptures clearly teach that there is a conscious, personal existence after death. The final destiny of each person is determined by God's grace and that person's response, evidenced inevitably by a moral character which results from that individual's personal and volitional choices, and not from any arbitrary decree of God. Heaven, with its eternal glory and the blessedness of Christ's presence, is the final abode of those who choose the salvation which God provides through Jesus Christ. But hell, with its everlasting misery and separation from God, is the final abode of those who neglect this great salvation. This is the last one. Article 22. We close off our Wesleyan articles of religion by being absolutely clear that your final destiny is determined by you, not some divine lottery that happened way before creation. God didn't just play like eeny, meeny, miny, mo and pick who was going to be saved and who wasn't. Everyone can choose to spend an eternity with God. And on the other side, anyone who chooses the door marked not God will live with that choice. C.S. Lewis said, there are only two kinds of people in the end. Those who say to God, thy will be done. And those to whom God says in the end, thy will be done. Exactly what each side of the judgment is going to be like, we don't know. But there is definitely a side that you want to be on and a side that you don't. We're more focused on that part than the other. And that concludes the Articles of Religion of the Wesleyan Church, along with a profession of faith, baptism, and agreement with the elementary principles, which are explained in another set of videos, and agreement to come under the governing authority of the Wesleyan Church. Acceptance of these core beliefs is one of the qualifying factors to become a member of the Wesleyan Church.